guys, this is Comic Uno. Today I'm doing a review for Age of Ultron Book 3, Issue 3. But be before I start talking about this uh, issue, just want to give you guys a little update. I have five comic books I usually do on Comic Uno that I did on Dark Avenger Inc. this week. And those comics are uh, Young Avengers Issue 3, Aquaman Issue 18, Fantastic Four Issue 5, Age of Ultron tie-in, which fits for this, so if you want to check that out. Uh, Scarlet Spider issue 15 and Ultimate Comics Wolverine issue 2. So if you want to go check out those reviews, just go in the description below and there'll be a link for Dark Rendering so you go check out those reviews. But let's talk about uh, Age of Ultron book 3 issue 3. Mm -hmm. um, cover fits really well. Um, this happens in the issue. Why is she hooked down? Why is Luke Cage holding her? Um, looks like he's pleading to um, the Ultron. So very interesting. I do like the feel of the art also. I like the kind of apocalypse type of world, type of dystopian type of art. So uh, I really do like that. And um, let's see if I like the story though. So in this issue we get to see, um, they have to give a sacrifice, the whole team, the whole Avengers, but not Avengers team, the Avengers of um, Age of Ultron. Um, they have to give a sacrifice and that's how they could get the ends of the Ultron world. So Luke Cage is like, all right, I'm strong. And then she is like, I'm stronger, so let's both go. And you could give me up to uh, the Ultrons. So that's exactly what they do. And we get to see that in the Ultron's little palace is Vision. So he's the head of this, or he's part of this. So that's pretty interesting. Um, so I thought it was a pretty good issue. Um, it's still not for event. It's still not the best. I think this would be a cool Elseworld type of event, but they're saying, oh, this is part of the universe, you know, let's make everything confusing. Let's do tie-ins where we can make even more things confusing, because this series actually has nothing to do with Age of Ultron, but let's make it Age of Ultron. That's the confusing part. It, they're just trying to sell comics, but also let's make it really confusing. If this is just an Elseworld story, I think it'd be so much better. They could just make it a big event and then something big happen with the Elseworld story, saying, yes, it's important, but it doesn't have to be part of the universe to be good. Um, or even impact the universe. Um, that's why I think it's a little confusing. Um, but I did enjoy this issue. I think it's a good um, beginning for this uh, story arc. It's not, you know, every issue something happens, you're, you're interested. Um, I think the apocalypse type of world um, is interesting right now. It's, it's selling, you know, Walking Dead. Um, I'm sure there's gonna be uh, Hunger Games. You know, all those type of stories that are big sellers right now and everyone likes. It's a, it's a good thing to buy into and I, I'm, I'm proud of Marvel that they're doing it in a good way. But how is this gonna affect the Marvel Universe and could they do this for 12 issues, which they always screw up with. Make it shorter and you can make a better story. I always say that. But, um, so far it's pretty good for the beginning. Uh, a lot better than the beginning of, uh, AVX. Um, even though AVX was a lot neater and kind of connected with everything a little bit better. But um, I'm still interested with this. That's why I'm picking up. Uh, it's not a bad series. I haven't given it uh, a, such a low grade to say don't pick it up. At least I, I don't think so. You know, uh, the past couple issues I have been enjoying. So um, this issue really it, it progressed stuff and I'm still interested. So we'll have to see. I mean, this could definitely change with the next issue. This could change with two issues from now or the ending. Who knows? But for now, I'm really enjoying it. Uh, Tie-ins I'm a little questionable about, but they're still interesting stories. So um, we'll have to see more though. I'm, I'm interested though. So I'm going to give it a three and a half. Again, it's not the best story in the world. But I would follow it. It's not the best event, but I think things could come out of it that are good, you know. Um, and that's why I'm following it. I, but I do give it three and a half. Stuff do happen that are interesting in this uh, issue. So, uh, yeah, and also the art is really good. Oh, so I do enjoy that. Some people say they don't like it, but I think it has a lot of detail that I really enjoy. Um, but yeah, I say pick it up. Three and a half stars. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. Comic Uno, guys. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter for Comic Uno and the Red Situations. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.